Hello and welcome back to the Excel tip videos. Today in this video, we will show you how to use minute function in Excel. Minute function in Excel is used to extract the minute as an integer value from a specified time value. It returns the minute as a number from 0 to 59 from a time. And it returns the value error when any invalid serial number is supplied in the argument. Let's see how minute function works in Excel with the help of examples. As you can see, we have taken dummy time values in column A and we will extract minutes from it in column B. Alright, now we go to cell B9 and enter equal to followed by minute function and hit tab to autocomplete. Minute function takes only single argument that is serial number and it is the value that contains time from which you want to extract the minutes. It can be entered as decimal numbers texting, cell address or as a result of some other function. The argument is required for the function to perform the action. Okay. Now we take A9 which contains 2 hours 4 minutes 18 seconds time value in it. So we close the parenthesis and hit enter. The moment we hit enter function extracted only 4 minutes and skipped hours and seconds and returned in cell B9. In the next example, we can see the date and time stamps together in A10. So we enter minute function in B10 and we take A10 and close the parenthesis. As soon as we hit enter, function returns 47 as a count of minutes from the date and time stamps. So it ignores everything and successfully extracts minute from the date and time stamp and return in cell B. So when you have your data in such form, then also the function would work and will get you the number of minutes from it. Now we are in cell B11. So we enter minute function once again, and this time we take A11. Since we know that Excel stores date and time as serial numbers, and as A11 has the serial number, where the decimal portion represent time and integer part represent the date. Anyway, we close the parenthesis and hit enter. And here you go. Function returned with 10 as the answer. It is because if you change the format for cell A11, you would get first December 15, 9 hours, 10 minutes. And that is why the function returned 10 as the minutes part only from it. In the next example, we can only see the decimal portion and as we know that in Excel, times are stored as decimal numbers between 0 and 1. And here we have 0 0.225 decimal numbers which represent 5 hours 24 minutes. So when we take this as argument in minute function and execute, function returns 24 as the output in cell B12. Alright, now we move on to the next example where we have a text value that is a representation of a time value. So let's see what would happen if we took time as text entry in the argument. So we enter minute function in cell B13 and we take A13 as the argument and hit enter. The moment we hit enter, function gives us 29 as minute number which is right. But how? That is because as we mentioned earlier, function accepts text entry which represent time value or in other words if the time value is supplied as text entry in the correct format function would automatically assume and will consider that as time only and will return the desired output and in this case as it was supplied as text string but in the correct format hence the function return 29 and in case if you want to add or subtract minutes to it, you can easily do that too. Since Excel stores date and time as serial number, so it is very easy to add and subtract. And to do the same, we enter minute function in cell B14 and we take A14 which has the same text value as it was in A13. After we close the parenthesis, we would like to add 15 minutes to it and then we hit enter. And here you go. Function added 15 minutes to 29 minutes and returns 44 as the value which represent number of minutes. Now we move on to the next example and we enter minute function in B15 and hit tab to autocomplete. 
then we select a 15 as the argument and close the parenthesis and hit enter the moment we hit enter function returns zero as the answer that is because date with no time value is considered as 12 am which is represented by zero hour zero minutes hence the function return zero as the answer in cell b15 and in case you want to get the current minutes you can simply nest now function inside minute function to get the current minutes so we enter minute function here and then hit tab to auto complete and inside minute we type now function and again we hit tab to auto complete and we close the parenthesis since now function does not take any argument once again we close the parenthesis for minute function and hit enter and right now it is 10 11 in the morning and function returned with the current minutes but remember now is a volatile function and if you are working on the large amount of data there are chances that it may slow down your work now we move on to the last example where we enter minute function in b17 and we take a 17 which has some text in it and then we hit enter and this time function returns value error that is because excel does not recognize the supplied argument as valid excel time and hence function return an error value well this is how you can use minute function to extract minute from different kinds of time formats if you like this video don't forget to click on the subscribe button to get regular updates and feel free to share this video tutorial with your friends as well that's all for now we hope you found this lesson informative we shall meet again in our next lesson till then happy learning and have a nice day thank you